Hi everyone, it's Debbie from Day to Day. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I'm sorry. But in today's video, I want to talk to, you know, everyone's saying, you know, we're all the good men, we're all the good women. And on Friday night, we talked to Today Tonight about how many, you know, how many men there are to how many women there are in each age group. And they particularly focused on one age group, but in this video, I'm going to talk about all of them based on the last census data. So up until 35, there are more men. Women have the choice. There are way more men, and that's just the way it is. Over 35, that all changes. So I think over 40 to about 50, there's a couple of thousand more women in Perth than men. Between 50 and 59, there are 3,026 more women than men. And over 60, there's 21,000 more women than men. And when I started looking at this, I'm like, what happens between 35 and 40? Where, where do the guys go? Do they disappear down a rabbit hole? Well, no, what I found is they're more likely to die earlier because they're more likely to undertake in risky behavior and they're more likely to take a lot of alcohol or drugs. So men die earlier than women. And that's shown by the over 60 that the average age a man dies is 59. The average is based on the lowest and the highest, but that's pretty young. So there are less men as we go on, which is not good stats for the women, but pretty good for the men. However, I find frustration from both men and women finding what they want. So I want to talk about that in this video. And before I get started, I want to say that for men out there, it can be particularly lonely when they find themselves single after a failed marriage, that often they lose a whole group of friends and their social life. And there's some recent research where they looked at the data from 309,000 people and they found that if people don't have strong relationships in their life, they're 50% more likely to die of any cause. And they also found it was the equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day, which is pretty huge. So for a lot of men out there that are feeling lonely, I feel their pain. And, and what I would recommend is, it's really important, you know, love is one thing, but strong relationships don't just have to be about love. Going, finding some new friends is really important. Connecting with people in your life so, you know, it's, it's good for your health. And, and finding love, it is, research does show that men live longer in a happy relationship. And it's really important, you know, the quality of our relationships matter. And especially for your health. So, you know, I do recommend going to groups like Meetup or even our singles parties for the guys to meet some new friends as much as to find love. Okay, so with that said, what do you do when the odds are against you? Or even what do you do if you're one of the guys where there are more women than men and you're not having any luck? I'm going to give you some simple, actionable advice that you can take. And look, I'm in a unique position because I see the results from singles events every week. I see who does well, who doesn't, how many people end up in relationships. And I also coach a lot of people. And when I coach them, we're getting some really good results where the outcomes that they're getting are changing. So really the only thing that we can do is take radical responsibility of ourselves and how we act and how we come across. And often what I find is the older we get, we come from a really different space. We're really worried about wasting time. We don't want to meet the same type of person. You know, we've been unhappy, so we, we want to be happy. And we focus a lot on what we don't want, which is not a good space to come from. And, you know, I do find a lot of people say, I don't want to waste any time. But they do then end up wasting time on relationships that aren't any good for them. Or they'll go for the good-looking person who doesn't make them feel good or who can't commit to them. Now, those relationships, if you're wasting time on the wrong guy, you're not doing yourself any favours, okay? You want to be able to meet a guy who works for you and guys you want to meet a girl that works for you. And wasting time on unavailable people or people who are in and out of your life and can't commit to you is, is not really an answer. I don't care how good looking they are. And, and chemistry is one thing, but how someone makes you feel when you're with them and when you're not with them is really important. 
So that's why I say it starts with you. Now for the women out there, I reckon you change your energy. When you were young, you'd be more playful, spontaneous, have fun. You need to bring that energy back into dating. When you're in a hurry, you bring a different sort of energy and it can be way too easy to meet one good guy and pounce on him and push him away. So relaxing a bit that the person you're looking for is also looking for you. If you come across as the best version of yourself, relaxed, enjoying your life, you have such a better chance of meeting someone. I mean, you want to be in that top percent of people who are going to meet one of those 29,000 singles. You don't want to be one of the two to 3,000 that doesn't. So being authentically you and comfortable in your skin is really important, okay? You don't twist yourself out of shape. You don't be what someone else wants you to be just to get a relationship because that's how divorces happen. But you do want to be playful, have some fun, stop putting, stop making dating so loaded with so much expectation. You know, when you go into a date or even speed dating, judging every person that sits in front of you, it's not a nice energy to come from. If you go into a speed date or a date, come across giving the best version of yourself, going, okay, I'm gonna go into this wanting everyone to choose me. You actually show up quite differently. And I know for women, they don't always want to do that because they don't always want the wrong person. Sorry, my battery's dying. They don't always want the wrong person to get the wrong idea about them. Excuse me for a second. I'm just having problems with my phone. Okay. But that doesn't work either because they end up giving the wrong energy across on a date. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. My phone charge is dying and I didn't want to have to start the video again. So, you know, just go in with a different energy. Instead of judgmental, go being curious. Go have fun. Have a good conversation. You know, and if it's, if it's good enough, if it's a maybe, see where that goes. You never know what might happen. And look, when it comes to online dating, it can be easy to just rule people out rather than rule people in. If you go through a set process, which I teach people when I coach, you can end up with much better results and not come, not come away despondent. Look, if you're going into dating, you know, trying to make yourself happy, trying to fill up blank spaces, it's not going to work. If you're coming and you feel disappointed and you feel like, what's the point? That energy is going to show on a date and not paint you in the best possible light. Now, I want to say to the guys out there that a lot of women, when they get older, they, they've spent their life doing a lot for everyone else. They've looked after kids. They, you know, spend a lot of time doing what they don't want. That they're often out living full lives, doing what they've wanted to. They travel, they go learn new skills, they catch up with friends. And a lot of them tell me they're quite frustrated because they meet men who've got absolutely no interests. And that's not appealing. And I do talk to a lot of guys and they say, well, I'm waiting to do that when I meet someone. Stop waiting to live your life. I mean, imagine the average guy dies at 59. Stop wasting time. Go and build a life. Go and be happy. Go and make some friends. Travel. Have experiences. I guarantee you're going to be more dateable to the women out there. So just because the odds are in your favour doesn't mean you're going to get a date. You want to be in that space. Often we're too busy looking at the other person and at what they are, it's really important to look at you and what you are and what you bring to the table and see yourself through someone else's eyes and you're going to up your dating success by a lot. Now I want to say, again I do a lot of coaching in this space and I do work with singles that they have blocks. They are so scared that what's going to happen in the past is going to happen in the future that they've put walls up, that they're so focused on they don't want that they can't see some things in front of them. Getting those things out of the way, dealing with the pain of the past so you don't bring it forward, it's really important. I can tell you that there are 29,000 singles out there looking for something. And it's never too late to find the love you wanted. And whether, you know, whether there's more men, more women, it doesn't matter. 
put yourself in the most dateable position that you can. I can tell you I can help you with that. And, you know, don't... When people say they want to waste time, they end up wasting time because they go about it the wrong way. Stop. And not everyone's going about it the wrong way, so don't take this as judgment in any way, shape or form from me either because I just want you guys to have the best possible chance to get the relationship you want. And I see people having happy relationships all the time and, and meeting, and I see what you know, people like, they like, they want when they meet someone for it to be better with that person than not, which they don't get to see when we're all coming from this judgmental, protecting ourselves, not fun space. And, and that's the difference between dating in your 20s and dating in your 40s and 50s. You know, the people in their 20s aren't so worried about the outcome they're not worried about getting to the destination. They're enjoying the journey. Try to enjoy the journey. And if you can't for a while, remove yourself from dating. Because when you go with that energy, it, it just doesn't work. And look, I'm here to help you in any way possible. Send me an, a, an email or give me a call or a text message. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to support you to get the best possible results you can. And look, with that in mind, if you are over 40, why not book into the singles weekend? The weekend is not this weekend, but next, and it's all about making friends and having some fun and getting rid of that expectation. And, you know, there's a mix of free time. You get your own room. The accommodation's great. We're near the beach. We spend most of Saturday going to some wineries and some cool places that you've probably never been. The price is incredible. So, you know, I really hope that you guys join me on that weekend. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. It's been nice talking to you as always. Bye.